I remember when I first went to residential school. I was eight years old. We were put in a big truck. I remember looking out the window, look at, looking at my parents standing. It was at night when we arrived at the residential school, and we were very hungry. The nuns were waiting at the door for us, and they were taking all our clothes and giving us other clothes to wear. I was very lonely, and I didn't get to see my brothers. We were separated. The Guascon. The Guascon. The We were not allowed to use our language at the school. Yeah. And it was very hard for, but we used to talk right to each other, spring to each other. We get punished for talking in our language. I never learned about Jesus in the residential school. I never used to get uh, the kind of love that I had when I was at home with my parents. I heard about the Bible and I heard about the people accepting Jesus and going to church. I wanted to feel something and I never had that feeling. You know, there was a, a program called Red Road. That's where I learned my Jesus. That's where I first accepted my Jesus as my Lord and Savior. It was a very awesome feeling that I cannot describe. Like as if something was lifted up out of, out of me. I'm healed now completely because the Jesus that I'm serving is healing me. I enjoy working with students, try to be a good role model to them. And culture and language is very important to us in our community. My husband brought the fish to the school and they cooked them here outside. And we've been married for 52 years now. Well, Jacob was a fisherman and he was a hunter, still is. <laughs> <laughs> the impact that I had at residential school, not speaking my language, not using my culture, was very like as if uh, something was taken away from me. That, very, that was very precious. The Jesus that I knew at residential school was fake. It wasn't real Jesus. And the Jesus that I'm serving now is the real Jesus. Because he's a loving, loving Jesus.